Twisted Sniper 42 here with a quick review of the Fokker D7. Uh, it's a Ravel 170 second scale, wingspan of 9.7 centimeters and 12.8 centimeters in length. Excuse me, oh, I've got a bit of a cold. <coughs> Uh, anyway, yep, yeah, uh, got this for a bargain price of one ninety nine. So that's pretty cheap. Uh, skill level three, uh, just the same old, same old, really on, you know, on the back and the sides. So just put it all out. Put that to one side. All right. We'll see. We have half oh, decals. We'll look at those in a while. We have the safety advice. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Don't need that. Safety. Uh, if I don't know how to glue my fingers together by now, and I never will. Uh, yeah, same old, same. Usually, little A uh, A three. Yeah, A three booklet. A little bit on there. On the history, blah blah blah. Well, you know. they need uh, obviously the D1 was triplane, they need a new D class, so obviously 1918 they came up with this. Um, on the inside, it's just gives you the same, your usual, usual bits really glue, don't glue, all that malarkey, and your paint call out, which is quite a lot of different actually paints and mixes to be honest. Uh, but yeah, and we have. Uh, <laughs> that up. There we go. Uh, one page and seven uh, seven sections. Obviously, gives you the sprue layout at the top there, and then step one. Uh, to be honest. This, <laughs> there's there's so little detail on it, and it'll probably take you about all of two minutes to build it. But you know, and uh, shows you the step here to add add uh, the wire for underneath down here on on the uh, legs, the struts, and at the top for the wings. Um, on the back, yeah, just yeah, just one paint call out. Uh, the J Sutter 11, 1918, old Rudolf Bertoff. Um, yeah, so like just me being a bit of a div there. Um, yeah, anyway, the, the the camo screen scheme underneath, as you can see, consists of like. Four different colours, plus obviously the fuselage colours, which is blue and red. Um, but yeah, I don't know when this one is actually. Thingy. As I say, you get one sprue, which um, ninety percent of it's probably already fallen off of it. Are they separate? Oh no! Oh no! Sorry people, uh, I ran out of uh, battery there. Uh, there should be one screw, but for some reason there seems to be two. It looks like it's snapped, that's why. Um, just taking it out of the bag. There is a lot. Not on the fuselage. It does have some detail in it. It's actually stamped with a veil copyright. Um, and it says it's actually uh, looking at the instructions. Then it's uh, 2009. Now I don't think, somehow, with the amount of flash that's on this, I don't think that's true somehow. I think this is obviously an older because it's got raised panel lines on the wings. And so, it's good. and there's quite a bit of flash on it, as you can see around uh, around here. A lot, of, quite a bit of flash. Um, 
quite a some rather horribly placed injector pin marks just in there what a horrible place it actually goes right across the raised panel lines but and also on the wing which is it this is terrible, sorry, this is just terrible for uh, is the injector pin marks flipping everywhere a bit poor job, Ravel, very poor job uh, I mean look, even the uh, extremely poorly cast figure that's got a hole in his groin and uh, a great big injector pin mark on his backside but anyway, what do you expect, it's an old, it's obviously a very old kit that's just been reboxed, I'm guessing, and re um had the instructions re reissued. Um yeah, no detail no copy detail at all. Um your fella actually sits on sits on <laughs> sits on there. <laughs> so there's not I mean there's there's a little bit of detail on obviously on there we go. On the fuselage itself. But not a lot. But then it's it's a, it's a, not a lot of parts. It's not much to it really. But I'm just quite disappointed that the amount of jet to pin marks on it. A flash I'm not that fussed about because I can get rid of the flash and what have you. There's a lot of flash actually on the sprue itself. Um, but yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed with the. Uh, I mean, they're everywhere. It's ridiculous. The ta you know, our tail there. Um, it's, it's not good, but I mean the only bit that hasn't got anything on it is the prop. That is the, literally the only bit on it that hasn't got any flash. Oh, and maybe the exhaust. Yeah, the exhaust ports, which are actually the engine for for this was actually a BMW 185 horsepower. Unit. Uh, take the bits back out of the box again. See what I've got on in there. Where have I put those? Um, yeah. So I'm not really quite sure. But anyway, it's obviously that it says that the decals were or decals were printed in 2009 in Italy somewhere. Um, they're not that thick, to be honest. They're quite not too bad. It's just this camo pattern that I don't know whether to. Oh, sorry guys. I oh, God knows what was going on with this flipping camera right now. But oh, never mind. I've just spent another five minutes waffling on, and the damn thing's not even running. <laughs> so I'm not waffling for another five minutes. I've had enough. This is third attempt. Anyway, all in all. I mean, it's 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 pretty it's a it's pretty poor really, but it's something to do if you've got a spare couple of days. Which is going to take you bloody goodness knows how long to get rid of all them injector pin marks. Um, yeah. So as I was trying to say before, when it cut off, try and get that to there we go. If anybody has got any suggestions on the best way of doing the, uh, the the camo scheme for the underside of the wings, just comment, PM me, or if anybody's built it and tell me how bad it actually is to build. It would be uh, quite interesting. But I certainly wouldn't recommend, recommend it, and I can see why they're actually selling, they were selling them off for the price that they were. But you get... I mean, you don't always get what you pay for, but this is definitely a seriously old tooled kit. I mean, it's, it's lack of detail. I mean, I, I know you don't get a lot of detail on 172nd anyway, a lot of the time, but, I mean, there's, li there's literally nothing. Nothing on there at all. So, yeah, it's just quite a poor kit, to be honest. Um, yeah, as I say, if anybody's built it, let me know because I might just stick it back in the stash and just leave it there for the next 10 years. <laughs> I don't know. 
or maybe I get it out and do it, I don't know. Because it's just going to take more time to get rid of the injector pin marks and stuff. And then it, and the raised panel lines and rescribe them to uh, them to actually worth worth doing. But I'd probably just leave them the way they are raised. It could be worse, I suppose. But anyway, that's enough of me jabbering because you've heard enough of me jabbering. Um, uh, yeah, this is Twisted Sniper signing out, going home, doing whatever. I had enough now, this flipping review. Um, yeah, the other thing is, quickly, when this camera stops shaking, is that I will, as many of you guys have already done, uh, a who am I and a what am I doing, blah, 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 review. Not review, Muppet. Um, just to... You know, to let a few of the people that don't know who I am and what I do and etc etc what I'm about um, so yeah thanks guys for watching and probably wasting your time watching this because it's probably about 8-10 minutes long and it was only meant to be like 3 minutes long because I've had to record it 3 times which is really aggravating now so anyway thank you very much guys cheers bye <laughs>